I think it started with West 32nd. That's why I made my move out here. I had made connections to come out here, but really, uh, those connections don't really get you, like, you know, the audition. They don't get you the job, unless, you know, you're super chummy with a producer or something, you know? Uh, so I really, you know, I mean, the auditioning process and the producing pro uh, and being and being picked for a role, I mean, that, I think, is, is up for anyone, you know? Uh, so even though I had a support group and I had people that, you know, that were egging me on and that were in the entertainment industry, um, you know, I mean, it means a lot, but I don't think it really helped me, like, you know, uh, you know, go through that process again of starting over because it took me eight years. Sorry, let me just. No, you, you hear okay, so it took me, it took me, it took me eight years to develop, you know, to build my career up in, in Korea. And it just felt like I was starting over again. That was a hard part about it. Yeah. Uh, it was it was shot in the U.S. Just shot in the U.S. Okay, so yeah. even the stuff that's the part that's supposed to be Korean, right? Well, yeah, the guy Hyung Bin, he's a Korean actor, uh, and he speaks, and he's like, um, you know, he doesn't speak very good English, but he just moved over to Seattle. He plays a gigolo, and he's trying to pick up, you know, uh, Anna, who, who just played by Tang Wei, and she's been living, you know, in the U.S. for a while, so her English is a little bit better. But it's kind of like, you know, you have this thing where there's a language barrier between the two. But somehow they communicate in other ways and they fall in love. So, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 a really interesting story, and uh, I think it was. Uh, I know that I was in the movie, but I was really surprised by how the movie came out because I'd read the script, and it's very very tragic. I think it'd be right up your alley, you know, with, you know, with, with your love for Korean dramas. I mean, I thought it was like one of the best love stories I've I've actually seen in I don't know how long. Um, I play, well, what happens is Anna is, um, she comes out of prison for, for about three days. They give her a leave, um, you know, with the, you know, ankle bracelet and everything, um, and a phone, whatever, without getting te too technical, to visit uh, her, uh, to go and attend her uh, mom's funeral who just passed away. So during those three days, um, she is, well, she gets on a bus and she is going back home and she meets, um, you know, the guy who is the guy that's played by Hyun Bin. and um, but when she gets there and uh, does the whole funeral thing, she sees me. But I moved on with my life. The thing was, the thing is, the reason why she's in prison is because of me, and this comes out later in the movie. And um, you know, I mean, I moved on with my life. She's in prison, so you know, I'm a bit of an ass, you know, and God. yeah. Well, it's uh, it's it's called Innocent Blood. Innocence Blood, sorry, and it's about um, I play a father, and uh, but my son gets kidnapped, and it has something to do with my past and uh, my past as an undercover cop, um, and he doesn't know why his son gets kidnapped, gets kidnapped, um, and I'm trying to find clues. I'm trying to find the reasons why, and I realize as I'm going through this journey of finding clues here and there that it's uh, it's a journey of actual you know there's a bit of depth. I mean, to the kidnapping story. I mean, there's a, another internal story, or you know, like a, you know, a, a momentum or a, a journey uh, where it's a it's a self-realization journey of self-realization about his own guilt. Afterwards, I'm going to go back to Korea. I'm going to go back to Korea, and um, I want to, you know, I've been waiting around for two years to get, you know, to work jobs, and you know, and. Uh, you know, try to try to nail roles, but it's been it's been tough. I mean, it's tough in my life. So go back to Korea, and then hopefully, you know, come out like maybe next year, and the year after pilot seasons. Also, I also think China is a huge burgeoning market right now. Um, you know, they used to be a huge consumer market, but now they're flipping it around, and they're you know they're producing Hollywood films and studio films now. So, well, yeah.